What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're at the park doing a little bit of training. Uh, I just wanted to update you guys on the progress that we've made from week 8 that I got him to right now, which is week 13. But the training process is 8 to 12, but I'm just getting the video out to you guys at 13. So uh, this week we'll be working on place, but that's for a different video. So let's get into what we've learned. So one of the big things that I had like plans on doing was getting a lot of socialization in in the first couple of weeks so he doesn't have like that fear nope got, there's some poop on the ground got the tree. Uh, so he doesn't have that fear of people of <laughs> new environments so that's things that we did uh so he's got to see snow he's also uh seen a ton of dogs and he's, he's gonna see more like socialization throughout their whole life if you want it to be but that's what we're doing i want to have socialization throughout his whole life so when he comes around people you don't have that fear that he's gonna bite I had that with my last dog that I had and so that's like one thing that I had to make sure that I keyed in on and this boy he's such a good boy that I wouldn't doubt he honestly we go on walks and he loves people it's it's just a nice thing so it's a nice thing to have in the back in the mind and he's a good boy the other thing that we were keying on is intro to feathers so we, he was introduced to feathers once I got him, actually. They were already doing intro. Sorry, car just drove by. They were already doing intros with pheasant wings, and now I've introduced him to an actual bird. Uh, I'm gonna try to get my hands on some pheasants. Not pheasants, sorry, some uh, pigeons, just so we can do some live bird training, but that's for later on. But he's just got his, uh, we got some fe pheasant wings that we taped to his bumper. And then also uh, we got some dead birds that are in the freezer for once we do some more training. So that's just one of the things that we've done in the eight to 12 weeks is uh, intro to feathers. All right, so step three would be housebreaking and crate training. So housebreaking would be like your potty training, uh, telling him all the things that he can't get into and not have and the word no. Uh, so, that was like one of the number one things that I felt like I was saying every single day. It was just like, Kobe, no, Kobe, no, Kobe, no. <laughs> he's like, what the heck did I just do? But, but he's got it down now. But uh, uh, I would say crate training was a pain. Uh, he was a whiner, that's for sure. I went back and watched some videos of how to like do some crate training and I kind of may have took the process a little bit different than what like a professional would do but now he's good he doesn't whine as much he whines when we're still home but uh he does lay in the crate when we're home as well so he knows that's a safe place and that's the number one thing that we tried to make sure of is that he knows that his crate is a safe place that he can go and relax and then also know that we're not abandoning him once we put him in there so that was that was a hard one. for the potty training aspect uh he's had a few accidents still uh but that's on my part like so i'll just get like distracted and also i leave the water bowl dish out and he just drinks it all and in a matter of like 20 minutes he has to go and he whines and i'm like you don't have to go out we just went out and then he did have to go out so that's on my part so i would say he's potty trained but there's just few mistakes that uh we can find wise through our training process and then some of the i mean you can call it like some of your basic trainings uh for like obedience and everything but we sat down and i'll show you guys that and learn to sit so it, it took a i don't I, I honestly think it took two days and then now he's so snappy at it so as long as i have his attention kobe we sit Kobe, sit. Good boy. Good boy. I'm gonna throw on my bumper because that was actually pretty good. So that was one thing that he picked up on really fast. And I started off with treats, but the next day I took treats away. Uh, the treats is just to get his attention because he has a really, really bad. Oh, good boy. <sighs> He has a really bad like attention span 
just because he's a puppy. And so I was just, you know, bring treats, food into the picture, and he just looked straight at me. So that's how I learned that. And then the next day, I took the treats away. He's got it. To get into my next thing, eight to 12 weeks, which I'm excited to see this once I get it all edited up. But the bumper work, little buddy has loved the bumper since we got it. I can show you right here, I brought it with me. Kobe, once he sees it, oh yeah. I wanna give him a little fun bumper, give him something to do. So from right now to what he is, he's came a long way. And right now, actually, I, I didn't think he was gonna bring it back to me. Uh, one thing that we've been doing is having to bring him right back to me, Kobe. And he's been actually really well. This is he's playful right now because we're just getting started. But Kobe dropped. And that actually wasn't intentionally going to be learned. But when I would say that word every time I would do it, it just happened. So I want to show you guys from when I got him. So here's how how's progress has come. Want a bumper, Kobe? Find the bird. Find the bird. Oh boy. Good boy. Good boy. And I just wanted to end the video off by showing all of the fun stuff that me and Kobe have been doing together and some of like a couple of videos of like progress and everything like that that I also have of extra clips. And Kobe's just, he's just part of our family. So there's a bunch of fun stuff that we've done. And it's just for me to look back on too because Kobe is, not, is gonna be here. I mean, it's sad to think about, but he's only here for like 10 to 15 years. I, I think that's what they say a lab lasts, so. It's sad to think about now, but I want to be able to have videos to look back on and see him as a puppy because, man, if you look at the videos from eight to now, he's already grown a ton, and that's sad too. So, anyways, here's the videos, and when the video ends, thank you all for watching, and stay tuned because we got a bunch more videos and training to do with him. So, thank you all.
Kobe. Good boy. Oh, you're such a good boy. He's a good boy.